Uh, today we're in Bradford, Vermont, here on the Waits River. And behind me is the Bradford Golf Course, where we just completed a project this summer and fall, where the uh, Tropical Storm Irene really did some damage to the golf course. And mainly because at the bridge upstream from us, there was a lot of riprap that got washed downstream and Irene created this island that I'm standing on in the middle of the river. Once this island was here, the uh, flow from the river went to the golf course uh, and increased the amount of erosion that they were seeing. So in the last couple of years, they were losing more and more land, starting to threaten the golf course. They contacted the Watershed Council, asked me to come out and look at it, and we decided we could do some stream bank stabilization here to help uh, reduce erosion in the river and also to uh, create some fish and wildlife habitat in the, in the process. The specific project that we did here in Bradford on the Waits River was to use root wads to help stabilize the bank. So the Watershed Council, we wrote a grant to get the funding to do this, and we hired a contractor and forester who went over to Thetford, Vermont, and got the root wads and the trees and trucked them over here to Bradford. And what we did was dug out the eroding bank, put in logs down at the water level so the water couldn't scour under the root wads, and then we went in and placed root wads side by side so that the root wads are touching and interconnected. And that will help create habitat, but also help di di direct the flow away from that bank. So in the spring, when the water comes up and the high water is hitting that bank, now instead of hitting loose dirt, it's gonna hit the root wads and it'll help hold the bank in place, those root wads will. So we've got the scour log down below, got the root wads on top of it, and then there's a, on, on the root wads, there's a 15 foot long trunk, tree trunk. And on the back of those tree trunks, we cabled in another bigger log at, so that there's weight in the back and also that all of those logs are connected. So we've got four different bunches of root wads. There's six root wads on the upstream side, there's five root wads in the middle, then four, then down at the end there's three. Uh, we've got spaces in between them, so that's where you know, you'll know you have a little back eddy and uh, sediment will start to collect in there and the bank will actually start to build itself back out. 200 years ago, this area would be all planted with trees, like down below the floodplain forest. You don't get erosion in there because there's a ton of trees. So yes, it floods and there's a great wetland in there. There's always ducks, snow egrets come in. You know, it's a wonderful wildlife area down around the bend of the golf course down towards the Connecticut River. And that's what we're trying to extend um, by doing this project further upstream. One of our partners is the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and the reason they're involved is because of the root wads creating fish habitat, but when we plant trees in the spring, we'll also have that additional bird habitat, extending that floodplain forest for about 150 feet upstream. Obviously in the past, you know, some people have used riprap or large rocks to kind of hard armor our riverbanks, and that's really, first of all, it's a very costly way to do it, um, and it's really not great for the river or for the wildlife. Um, when you hard armor a bank like that, you tend to deflect the flow, so you're just pushing the problem somewhere else. It's going across the river if you're in a small brook, or upstream or downstream if you're in a bigger area. With the root wad project, it's a softer project, a little you know, soft armoring, if you will, and it's been very successful in Vermont. Uh, the White River Partnership has done it post Irene at Hurricane Flats Farm in South Royalton. Two side by side, you know, big bites were taken out of that farm in Irene, and some uh, similar project where they used root wads and other wood that was left over from Irene was put into that site. Obviously, you're still planting, you're still, you know, recreating some some soil on those sites, just like we did here in Bradford. Um, but the root wads are really what you know help hold it in place and take the brunt of the high water, and it creates fish habitat tree planting on top creates wildlife habitat, so it's a far better and more environmentally friendly way to solve our erosion problems than a riprap job. We're not going to stop floods. There's going to be ice and snow in the spring, there's going to be another storm like Irene, and these areas are still going to flood. What we're trying to prevent is that massive damage that we saw in Irene. 
So by putting in the root wads, we hope to stabilize the bank here or in South Royalton at Hurricane Flats Farm so that they don't have those massive blowouts that we had in Irene. And we're doing it in a, in a softer, gentler way as opposed to using the rock and the riprap to hard armor our banks.